you're looking for a super easy yet kind of impressive side dish to make at the holidays, you couldn't do any better than scalloped potatoes. Very few ingredients, super fantastically delicious, and everybody is gonna love it. You need to peel and very thinly slice three pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. If you have a mandolin, now's the time to use it, but you can do this by hand as well, which is what I'm gonna do because my knife skills are just so amazing. <laughs> I actually do recommend getting a mandolin though. It makes a lot of slicing jobs much faster and much easier and more consistent. So then thinly slice them, and by that I mean it probably should be less than an eighth of an inch thick if you can. If your knife is very sharp, it works really well. For potatoes in particular, these knives that have the little divots in the side help release the potato because it can be kind of starchy and it can stick to a regular knife. So thinly slice. I have a buttered two quart baking dish and I'm gonna rub a little bit of garlic in it. If you crush your garlic, it helps. Just for a tiny bit of flavor. You can leave it in the bottom of the pan if you want to. It is a little hard to rub garlic on a buttered pan without it sticking. Then you can layer your potatoes in. You can do this in a nice pattern, sort of slightly overlapping if you want to. Or you can just dump them in there. <laughs> it's kind of up to you. Listen, it's the holidays. I want this to be pretty, so I'm going to do a nice overlapping pattern. You can make this, assemble it, and pour the milk and cream mixture over it that I'm going to make in a sec, and then just keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready to bake it if you want to make this ahead. I wouldn't bake it ahead, though, because it absorbs all the liquid and then it could burn when you're trying to reheat it. I like to season each layer as I go along, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of salt here. Just a little bit. You're gonna add some salt to your cream mixture too, so don't overdo it. Note to self. <laughs> the potatoes are all layered, now I'm gonna make my cream mixture. One and a quarter cups of heavy cream and one and a quarter cups of whole milk. A teaspoon of coarse salt. And a half teaspoon of black pepper. It is kind of rich, but the richness is cut with the milk, which I guess some people would consider really rich anyway, but pour your cream and milk mixture on top of the potatoes. It's not gonna fully, fully cover it, but it should come up to right underneath the top layer of potatoes. And then dot the top with two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Have your oven preheating to 350 degrees. Cover the dish and then it needs to bake for an hour covered and then uncover it and bake it until it's golden brown and bubbling about another 30 minutes. Whoa, guys, look at that. Now, theoretically, you're supposed to wait and let this cool off so you don't completely burn your tongue and then lose all sense of taste, but I can't wait, so I'm gonna taste it. As it sits, everything will sort of come together and congeal, but in the best possible way. But I have to taste it now. Oh. It's rich and delicious, but so easy. Great for the holiday table.